welcome to PassThePen.com. My name is Jose Henriquez. Today we're going to take a typical photo of a happy couple and uh, turn them into vampires. So uh, let's get started. Alright, so let's just uh, make a selection with our lasso tool first. And make sure that we're on the correct layer. Okay, so now we want to separate that into its own layer by doing Command J and name the layer Tooth. Okay, so now that we have that tooth separated, what we want to do is do a edit puppet work and that's going to create a mesh around our tooth and what we want to do is we want to anchor in the points that of the tooth that we don't want to move so we don't want these gums to move what we do want to move is the tip of the tooth so now we'll just click and drag that point that was just added and don't worry about that extra stuff we'll take care of that in a minute that looks about right. Well, maybe just make it a little bit thinner. We want to try to keep it as realistic as possible. And you'll notice also that with the Command H, you can hide the mesh while you're transforming. So let's make sure we're on our tooth layer and we'll add a layer mask and pick a brush. Let's resize that brush. It's way too big right now by holding the control option and dragging to the left. And the feathering is doing the same thing, but dragging up and down. We'll make sure that black is our color for the brush and we'll brush off those small details of the tooth behind and the excess. And now we'll notice that it's much better looking. Just a little more. I want to try to keep it as sharp looking as possible. That's why I lowered the feather on the brush. And now let's select the other one with the lasso tool again. And you don't have to be too precise with this. You could just be a little bit off because we'll be doing the same thing to this tooth. Separating it with Command J and that one will be Tooth 1. Okay, so we'll go up to Edit, Puppet Warp again. And the same techniques right here apply. So we want to anchor in the gums. Anchor in the middle of the tooth, and we'll just stretch out that tip. And because of this angle, we're going to need to curve it a little bit. That's a little bit more realistic. Look okay, so let's add a layer mask to that tooth now. And we'll get rid of the excess. Maybe make it a little sharp looking. And that looks good. All right, let's zoom out and see how we're doing. Looks like this tooth is a little bit too short for that angle. So we'll just do a command T to pre-transform it and stretch it out a little more. Let's make sure that it looks good. We'll click on our mask and get rid of some more excess now that we transformed it. We can bring back a little bit of the tooth by painting with white. 
and that's looking good. Okay, so we can't have our vampire hanging out in the daylight, so let's fix that. Let's choose our top layer and put a black and white adjustment layer on top of that. No need to mess with the settings. And let's add a solid color layer with the bright red. And we change the mode to color. That's way too harsh, so let's lower the opacity on our solid. And that looks good. And then let's just add some text after the fact, and uh, there you have it. Now, uh, turn a regular shot into a vampire shot, I guess. So, uh, my name's Jose Henriquez for PastaPen.com. Thanks for watching.